Thanks for listening to the NVTV podcast, produced by Nequa Media. Welcome to this episode of the NVTV podcast. I'm Natalie Bellis. On today's show, the football team will explain what it was like to be a part of the program for four years after the season just came to an end. Joining me today is Sean Anshell and Kiet Chong, who are both on the team. Thank you for being here today. I would like to first ask, um, how did you guys get into football? Yeah, I'd say, like, my parents definitely got me into it. Uh, growing up, like, as a little kid, I'd always watch football with my dad on the weekends. And, like, uh, once I hit, like, first or second grade, like, I was so excited to play. Like, definitely my dad and my parents got me into football. Oh, yeah, I would say the same thing. It's just kind of like a, a thing in my family. Football was always on the TV growing up, and then uh, when I started first grade, I played my first year of football. Yeah, so if, Sean, you started in first grade, yet, when did you start to get into it? Yeah, I started flag football in first grade, and then I think tackle in, like, third. Um, Have you guys stuck with the same positions, or has it changed throughout the years? Uh, Mainly, yeah. I, I've been a running back from, like, elementary school and middle school. And then as, like, people start growing up, like, growing bigger, and I stayed, like, smallish, I moved the receiver just to a better opportunity for me. Yeah, I think when I was younger, I, I played a lot of quarterback and, like, running back or wide receiver. But, like, towards, like, middle school, I hit, like, an early growth spurt, so, like, kind of opposite of Sean. I, like, got moved to, like, tight end and, like, defensive end. And uh, before that, I was more of, like, a safety or, like, a quarterback. So you guys – did football for Niqua all four years. So coming into Niqua as a freshman, did you, the program feel welcoming and for when you guys started? Uh, yeah, for sure. I played for a bunch of different programs, like in my youth, but the Naperville Chargers and, like, the Wildcat feeder team, we always got invited to, like, Friday nights at Niqua. So, like, just watching the older guys made me super excited to be able to play one day for uh, Niqua. Yeah, I was definitely excited for, like, the um – like, obviously getting to varsity, but, like, freshman year, like, kind of just played because uh, all my friends did. I didn't play in seventh and eighth grade. I just did, like, the school flag football team, and we had, like, the COVID year. So, um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to be around my friends. I was more, like, focused on baseball, but, like, I was just going to give football a try. So would you say that freshman year when you guys started it was something that you wanted to do all four years, or was there ever any rough patches throughout the seasons? Um, I think, like – uh, in the beginning, like, going into freshman year, like, the summer, I think, like, I was definitely, like, baseball focused, but, like, I was going to do football on the side for fun, and then, like, ended up, like, really loving it and liking it, and it kind of took over, like, I kind of liked that more than baseball. I think for me, like, all four years, I've I always wanted to play football, and it's, like, now, like, I'm trying to play in college. Uh, yeah, I knew I was going to play all four years. I just, that was, like, all I could think about when I thought of high school when I was younger. Would you guys say that football's had an impact on your guys' high school experience? Uh, yeah, most definitely. I think, like, especially in the fall, uh, just, like, a Friday night, like, getting a win with the boys and then going out, getting food after, just, like, hanging with my friends. It's, like, it definitely has an impact. It's definitely, like, the fun part, in my opinion, of the season. Yeah, I think it's, like, it's like a big family, like, uh, football, like, all the guys that you meet, like, a lot of them you aren't that close with, but, like, during the school, and especially because it's, like, in the beginning of school, like, there's so many people that you meet and, like, so many people that you get really close to. I think it, like, definitely impacts, like, the whole rest of the year about, like, the amount of people I know and, like, the amount of people that know me. It's, like, it's pretty cool to, like, see and, like, it's, uh, like, cool to build the relationships with your friends and teammates. Yeah, it definitely sounds like football, you guys have gotten all really close, especially because it is year four. Um, is there anything that you guys do outside of football to stay connected with each other? Uh, yeah, I mean, me and Kid are friends, like, outside of football, too. So, like, I probably play poker with this dude, like, three, four times a week. And then besides that, we pretty much have the same friends. So, it's, like, we see all, like, the closer guys, we see each other around. Yeah, I'd say, like, we, we hang out a lot outside of school, especially the seniors. But uh, this year, like, meeting some of the juniors and getting close to them. Like, last year, like, um, obviously, we weren't close to, like, any of them at all. Like, I might have been close to, like, one or two of them, like, that I would actually, like, maybe hang out, like, outside of school with. But, like, this year, like, we're, we all grew, like, pretty tight. Like, from week one to week nine, like, it's it's been, like, we're all, like, pretty close, and, like, when I see them now in the hallways, it's, like, it's a totally different relationship that we had now than, like, versus, like, the summer. Um, Which year do you guys think stood out to you the most that made you grow 
overall as a football player, but also being able to just grow as a person? Uh, for me, I would say, like, sophomore year, probably, because I got hurt at, like, week two. So, like, I think, like, a lot of adversity, like, hurting myself and, like, coming back and, like, having to, like, struggle, like, play through an injury a little bit. I, I just felt like that was, like, my biggest year of, like, improvement. Uh, I think development-wise, I think I developed the most junior year just because we had a lot of, like, skilled receivers. So I was able to grow from them and then eventually, like, halfway through the season, move up my my uh, spot on the depth chart just because of injuries. So I was able to learn from a bunch of good guys and then also get a decent amount of playing time at the same time. So now that the season is officially over, what is your guys' favorite moment from senior year all the way going back to freshman year? Yeah, that's hard. Um, I'd say one of my favorite moments that, like, stuck out to me was sophomore year when we played Central. It was, like, a super close game, and, like, we ended up winning in, like, like, right at the end of the game. Um, I think another super fun moment for me was, like, uh, before, like, the Loyola game last year. Uh, during that week of practice, it was, like, snowy, and we had, like, one or two snow practices, and it was just, like, it was just, like, a blast being out outside in the snow with some of the boys. Yeah, I agree about the – you stole the uh, snow practice from me. <laughs> but one other one is uh, this year when we played Mattia. It was, like – it was a pretty, like, rough season with a lot of adversity, but – that game was just fun. We were literally just running around, like, throwing the ball, like, backyard football the first half, it felt like. So it was just fun to just run around and, like, play carefree. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um. Moving forward to it being your last game, how was it just an overall for you to be your last game? Um, I think it was pretty sad, you know, like, playing with these guys for, like, four years, like, uh, we've gone, grown so close and, like, growing up playing football, like, every single year, almost, it's, like, um, like, it's weird to think about, like, life without football, and, like, it's something that you always look forward to, and, like, when one season ends, like, you look forward to the next one and, like, getting better for it, so it's weird, like, not having that to look forward to, and it was just kind of, like, a weird feeling, like, leaving the field for the last time, like, kind of don't know what to feel, like, happy, sad, like, kind of, like, a mix of emotions. Yeah, I would say, like, every other season, I'm kind of like the, a few a couple of days after the season. I'm a little bit relieved because I like have way much more free time. Like my grades go up, my body feels better. But then this year it's just a little different because I know that like in a couple of weeks we're not going to start morning lifts because we're seniors. Like we don't have another season, so that kind of sucks. How was the first game? Was that something like did you guys feel anything different this year, or did it just feel like a regular first game? Um, I think. Uh, I think it was a little different this year. Um, we had Oswego the first game. We knew they were going to be, like, a super tough game. Um, it was going to be a super tough game, obviously. Like, they're 9-0 and now. But um, going into it, we were super confident. Um, I think it kind of was weird, like, being, like, the seniors and, like, soaking it all in. But, like, I remember being – because we played out their field. Like, I remember standing on their field before the game, like, like just super excited for the season and, like, um, just, like, thinking, like – I was kind of just thinking, like, wow, like, we're seniors already. And it was just – Pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, I was definitely excited. Uh, it felt weird not having, like, some older guys with us, though. It kind of, like, we were kind of just put in the spotlight as, like, the seniors. So I think we definitely developed and grew throughout the season and being leaders. And, like, that first game, we, like, were kind of – it just felt weird. It wasn't the same as, like, last year. Yeah, and earlier we were talking about futures um Kiet, you said that you were thinking about playing college football Sean have you ever thought about it or is it something that was just kind of like thought for the future uh I mean I always thought I would play college football from like when I was little but now just like with recruiting uh it's honestly pretty slow so like I might play at like a a d3 or like try to walk on at an FCS school uh, but I have not decided yet right now. I'm still in the process of talking to coaches and deciding what's best for me. Yeah, same. I'm still talking to some schools. Um, obviously, it's been, like, a dream of mine since I was young to, like, play, like, college sports, football, and baseball. Um, I think I'd rather play football, but, um, yeah, like Sean said, like, recruiting's been kind of tough for us, um, me as well, and um, I would definitely just – I would. I'm definitely thinking about it. I would love to play football, but, like, obviously, like, what's better down the road for me is would be the ultimate choice. If you guys had to give advice for either incoming freshmen or just even the grades down below you, especially like the juniors who are coming up to their last year, what advice would you give to them as for high school football? Just enjoy every moment. Every moment's different. Like freshman and sophomore year, it's more like just you and your closer guys like that are in your grade just playing football. And then as like you go to varsity, it's like 
you got a whole town like in like watching you and that's like an unreal feeling you just gotta soak it all up yeah i would say like um definitely like everyone always says like um like soak it in and enjoy it because it's gonna go by fast and like it actually it really does go by fast and um a lot of people told me that and i just like yeah yeah whatever it's gonna go by fast but uh i'd also say like get in the weight room like the weight room's been like a huge thing like um it's like a big a big part of football obviously and like a big part of like um getting better i think the weight room like helps out everyone and like sean said like you're playing with a whole like town behind your back like you're playing for a town like people really do care and it, it means something so like it's a good thing to look forward to and like um you should hold yourself to like high standards um, it has been great to see you guys play from freshman year to now, and I would like to say thank you to Sean and Kat for joining us today on the NVTV podcast. The NVTV podcast is produced by, Mequ- by media students of Nequo Valley High School. Enjoy the rest of your day.